This is the smartest way to get the Ken Burns effect in Final Cut Pro. I'll show you four ways to activate your inner Ken Burns, including a fast keyboard shortcut. Then I'll show you the right way to use the Ken Burns effect, including three pro level moves. Be sure to watch till the end and I'll show you how to use Ken Burns effect on video clips. In Final Cut Pro, open up the inspector. If you don't see it here on the right hand side, click on this button with the three sliders to open it up or press command four. Down in the video section, go down to the crop section and click on this little symbol for crop to turn it on. And then under type, change it from trim to Ken Burns. And now you'll see in your viewer here, you have the Ken Burns tool activated, but there's an even faster way. In the bottom left corner of the viewer, click on this little pop-up menu, select crop, and then click on Ken Burns. And there we go, we have our Ken Burns tools up and ready, but there's even a faster way to activate Ken Burns. In the viewer, right click, select crop, and then click on Ken Burns. Hold on, I know you won't believe it, but there's an even faster way. Select your clip and then press Shift C and then click on Ken Burns. Boom, Ken Burns, ready to rock. Let's take a look at these options here. So Ken Burns moves from one frame to another. So it's going to start the camera here in the green box that's called start, and then it will move and zoom to end on the red box. Let's take a look at that. Let's click this preview button up here. This will show us the Ken Burns effect, and the effect happens over the entire duration of your clip. Click this button up here to swap the start and end locations, and then click on your start location. Let's move down like so, and then Let's click on our end location and let's change the size of it. Let's zoom in a little bit on our back flipper. There we go. And now you can see that it's going to start here and it's going to move towards this red center. We'll click done and then we can play that back and we can see that it zooms in and a little bit to the left and up. In just a few clicks, we have a really professional looking animation. Select your clip, press shift C and then in the viewer, right click. We have these options for our animation. By default, it's ease in and out. So that means it starts slowly and builds up speed and then slows down on the animation. We can tell it to just ease in and then have a linear out, or we can tell it to have a linear in and then ease out. Or we can say everything is all linear. It will zoom in at a constant rate and then zoom out at a constant rate. I really like how the ease in and out looks, so we'll leave it like that. Time out. I gotta know, am I doing a good job? Am I being helpful? If so, will you give this video a thumbs up? Thanks, I can't go on without your approval. Coming up, I'll show you how to do some advanced Ken Burn effects on video clips, but first check out these advanced image Ken Burn effects. Let's take a look at some advanced Ken Burn effects with our image. Here I am holding a giant uh, venomous man-eating spider, so I have, a, I have the right to be scared there. <laughs> and what I'd like to do is I'd like to zoom in on the spider and then back out. So let's select our clip, press Shift C, and then click on Ken Burns. Let's swap our start and end points by clicking on the swap button. And let's move our start up a little bit like so. That looks good. And then I'll select the end framing and I'm gonna move it over and I'm gonna make it much smaller to really zoom in on that spider. We'll put it right in the center. There we go. How does that look? Let's play it back. All right, it starts out wide and then it zooms in to that spider. And remember, it happens over the entire duration of this clip. This is a 10 second clip, so that animation is gonna be 10 seconds long. That looks good, but now we want to zoom out. So I'm gonna put my playhead where I want to start zooming out, and I'll press Command B to split my clip into two. I'll select the second clip, and I won't touch anything in the viewer. I'll just simply swap the start and end points, and then press Done. Now the zoom in happens quicker, and it gets right there on that spider, and then it zooms back out. Now let's say I want to hold on that spider for a little while. What can I do? I'll just go to the beginning of my second clip with it selected, and then I'll go up to edit and I'll select add freeze frame, or I'll quickly press option F and it adds a freeze frame right there. All right, let's play that back. So now it zooms in and then when it gets to the spider, it holds on that freeze frame for a bit and then it zooms back out. Perfect. Now I want to try something different. Instead of just zooming back out, I want to switch where this focus is on. So I'll select my second clip, press Shift C to open up the Ken Burns crop editor. So instead of zooming out, I wanna zoom in on my equally terrified wife's face. I'll click and drag on one of the corners to make it smaller. And then on the end frame, I'll just recompose it to put my wife in the center. Don't worry, she loves being the center of attention. Then I'll click done. And now let's play that back. We zoom in on the spider, we hold for a little bit, and then we move the camera up to my wife's face. Ah! <laughs> 
All right, this setup is really flexible. Because the Ken Burns effect happens over the entire duration of the clip, I can quickly change the timing of it by making my clip shorter. So I'll click and drag on the end of my clip to make it shorter. And I wanna do the same on the first clip. There we go. I can also change the duration of the freeze frame. I'll select it and press Control D to change the duration. This is hours, this is minutes, this is seconds, and this is frames. I want it to be one second long, so I'll press one, zero, zero, and then enter. And now our animation is sped up. Quick zoom in, hold for a second, and then check out Leah. Let's take a look at Ken Burns and video. I want to zoom in on this surfer and then zoom back out. So I'll select my clip, press Shift C, and then select Ken Burns. Start looks good, but I wanna zoom in even more. So I'll make, the I'll make the end frame smaller, and then I'm gonna move it over to include the surfer. Let's take a look at that. So we start zoomed out, and then we slowly zoom in on that surfer over the entire duration of the clip. All right, that's good, but now I want to zoom out. So I'll select my clip, move my playhead where I want to zoom out, and press Command B. I'll select my second clip, and then using the swap button, I'll change our start and end location. And then I'll press done. Now, when I play that back, we zoom in pretty quick and then we zoom back out. But I want to hold on him for a little bit and I can't use a freeze frame because it's a video, right? So what I'll do is I'll move my playhead forward a couple seconds and press command B again. Now I have three clips. We zoom in and then it zooms back out. The problem is on the third clip, it starts back at the zoomed in position and zooms out. So select the middle clip, press Shift C, and now what we want to do is match up our start and end frames. So I'm gonna click and drag on the corner of end here, and I'm just going to do my best to match that up with start. All right, they're about the same width, and then I'm just gonna drag it down until they're right on top of each other. Okay, now we'll click done. All right, let's play that back. We zoom in quick on our surfer, we hold on him, and then zoom back out. That is a pro looking zoom. Look, that looks awesome. Now that you know how to do the Ken Burns effect, you might be interested in animating titles. It's really easy and you can do it in just two steps. Check it out.